Walker joins us now on the drive. Craig Christensen, one of uh, many monster truck drivers that are going to be out at the Washington County Fairgrounds this Saturday night. And Craig, how you doing, my friend? Are you ready for the show this weekend? Absolutely. We're out here getting trucks ready to be 100% so we can tear this place up. And, uh, you know, we're ready to do it. Man, give us a sneak peek of what it's like between shows because we just see the finished product, but probably a lot of mechanic work to keep those things running pristine so you can flip them over and jump them and everything. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, we call it the fame and glory. Everybody sees the 15 seconds of fame and glory out on the track, but they don't see the fact that when I rolled into town, I had two of them that rolled over. One that <laughs> had uh, come up short on the backflip, ripped the body all off of it, had suspension tore out of it. So I've been out here in the parking lot fixing it. I got Kamikaze's body clean off of it and refiberglass and all of it back together. The only truck that's still in one piece is Dragon Slayer, which is the truck I drive, and I'm not supposed to be the buddy maker of the group. I'm supposed to be the guy tearing stuff up. So I'm <laughs> Obviously, we've got this program all messed up. <laughs> Who's in charge of this, anyway? <laughs> yeah, it's my wife. We'll blame her. <laughs> Craig Christian said, and if you want to get your tickets, uh, you can go to teamkcm.com. Teamkcm.com. Uh, you can also look up uh, Monster Truck Hysteria, and you can find them on Facebook as well. You get your tickets at the gate as well if you uh, find that easier this Saturday night. Oh, gates are going to open. You're going to have a, a pit party going on before the show, right, Craig? We do. Gates open at 5 o'clock. The pit party will be from 5.30 to 6.30. It's the only time that you can get up close and personal to the trucks and to the driver. And we'll sign a, sign autographs. You can get up and get all the photos you want. And then after the show, we'll do a pit party as well, or a, a sign a autograph signing after the show to where you can sign everything that you, know, you want to get signed at that time. Hey, Craig, where does Dragon Slayer stack up with Max D, Iron Outlaw, and Donkey Kong as far as trucks you've driven? <laughs> Um, Power-wise, it's a little more power than uh, than all the above, and uh, on the tear-up list, it's probably a little below the Max D truck, because when you're driving somebody else's truck, you don't care, you can just run it right into the ground where I'm having to pay the bill. I, you know, probably try take a little bit better care of it, but my entire career has either been upside down on fire or total destruction, and that's the way I drive each and every weekend, because it's only money, and if, you know, if I spend it all right away, that just leaves that much less for the wife to spend, so I might as well go ahead and put it back in the truck. Craig, I know a lot, you know, a lot of the guys you're going up against are family members, whether it's your son or other people, is there quite a rivalry brewing in the monster truck uh, season here with your family? It, you know, it, it, we are a family, and uh, as, as long as we're in the pit area, everybody's just, you know, kosher, and you help each other get ready, but as soon as you drive out of the starting line that helmet goes on, it doesn't matter who you're lined up, and I always <laughs> tell everybody, it doesn't matter who I line up against, I hate them all, I'm there to win, and, and I don't care who it is, it doesn't matter if it's my son, my daughter, my wife, it doesn't make any difference to me. Now, we have had to make a truck replacement, um, the disturbed truck won't be there, and so we're bringing in Joe Cipher, who's a good friend of mine with the Airborne Ranger, it is the world's only hand-controlled driven monster truck wow he is a paraplegic he can walk with braces but his hand his truck is totally driven by hand control but don't take him as a slouch because i'll tell you what he, he will put on a show and he runs hard wow uh, how did how did that all happen so he loved it he got into this after he, he couldn't walk as, as good without the crutches and he couldn't drive anymore in the show so he is this he's the only guy in the country to do this or is there other people that do this he, no, he's the only, he is the only hand-controlled driven monster truck in the world. That's awesome. And he was uh, in a car accident when he was in the, air, in the uh, Airborne Rangers, and so he was released from that, obviously, and so he bought an existing truck and then revamped it and wanted to do a tribute back to the servicemen, and so it's Airborne Ranger, and uh, it has all hand controls, and he drives... You know, one hand on the steering wheel, the other hand runs the throttle, the brake, the rear steering, and has to let go of the steering wheel to shift it. And I've drove the truck around a few times just in the parking lot. Man, I, I cannot give enough praise to this guy for what he has to do in there that I do with my hands and feet, and he does totally with his hands. That is awesome. I love hearing stories like that. That's going to be a great addition to the show. What's the truck name he's driving? It's Airborne Ranger. I love it. I love it. Monster truck. Hysteria! It's at the Legacy Park there at the Washington County Fairgrounds this Saturday night. Gates open at 5. Pit party goes 5.30 uh, until about 6.30. Then the show will start at 7 o'clock. 
Uh, kids tickets are just eight bucks. Adult tickets are just sixteen bucks. We we'll give you a chance to win a few. We don't have a lot of these, uh, so make sure you go to teamkcm.com. Team kcm.com or look them up on Facebook or plan on getting your tickets at the gate. Craig, is there, is there a discount if you get them online in advance or is it the same pricing if they just walk up at the gate? Yeah, no, it is an advance uh, discount ticket if you buy it ahead of time. Now, you can also buy them at, at the Napa Auto Parts store in Hurricane, so if you're out in that area, you can swing in there and buy them. But yeah, if you buy them at the gate, they will be more money. There you go. So save a couple bucks, get over to Napa and grab those or go to teamkcm.com. How many monster truck shows do you think you've driven in over your 20-plus year career? No, oh, thousands. And you still get Thousands. You? I've done 24 shows this summer alone. Wow. Wow. It doesn't get old, it sounds like. You must lo- absolutely love it. Oh, I, I do. I, I get up in the morning and I think, you know what? Oh, dang it, I don't have to go to work. I get up with the attitude that, yes, I get to go crush something today. <laughs> so, uh, you know, it's just it's a great feeling. But, you know, part of the show as well is UTVs. We've got UTV races going on. And so, you know what? If you've got a UTV and you think you're a bad driver, come down and register. Registration will start at 3 o'clock and they'll have an obstacle course. $35 to enter and winner takes all. I love it. I love it. Cat, put cash on the line. And get, get 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 people fired up to go down there and race. What is there any restrictions or is just got to be stock or how's that work? Yeah, no restrictions. You've got the UTV, you've got a helmet, and you've got the ability to drive it. Come on down. <laughs> I love it. Monster truck hysteria. You just heard Craig talking about the UTV races. You want to get in those? You know somebody's got a side by side or whatever. Have them get on down there at the Washington County Fairgrounds uh, starting Saturday. Registration for that will start at three p. M. I'm just curious, uh, where do you get the cars that you guys crush? Well, normally we get the cars from uh, local junkyards and whatnot, but we're not allowed to use cars this year. And the reason being is because it's a rodeo either next week or the week after, so they don't want any particles of cars in the arena. Ah. So what we've got is big loader tires and concrete blocks. And so what we're going to be doing is jumping over concrete blocks, but I guarantee it'll be as much air, if not more, than you'd ever see on any cars. And so we can't have any of the debris because normally you'd have a demolition derby as well and you can't have that because they don't want any of the debris in there because you know how it is in town horse people control all of our arenas i'm from utah so i know exactly what that's all about <laughs> so you improvise and you put on the heck of a show anyway you just roll with it baby. absolutely i love it man yeah it doesn't matter if it's a train bus concrete block what's you know, you... the mother-in-law's car it don't make any difference <laughs> i can get air off of anything <laughs> have you really jumped off the top of your mother-in-law's car well no but it sounded good didn't it, it? Did, it sounded really good and it intrigued me to follow up with another question i love it i love it. what's the fir- how far do you guys jump those things like what's a good distance jump like have you ever measured like the longest jump you've ever had in a monster truck yeah the longest jump i i think i still hold the height the biggest height jump which was in the Max D truck down at the World Finals, and the bottom of the tires is 125 feet in the air at the World Finals Encore. Wow. And uh, you you start thinking about a lot of things at 125 feet in the air, like, I hope it lands. Am I going to (laughs) live? Is my life insurance paid up? Was this real smart? (laughs) You know, in distance, um, I've jumped far enough to clear 25 cars. That's so uh, it's not a matter of being able to go big. It's a matter of being able to get stopped. And so each arena is a little bit different. And I've done shows in ice hockey rinks with the, with the dasher boards up. So like San Jose Shark Tank, I've raced in there. And I've done arenas as big as, you know, Anaheim Stadium or Tampa Stadium or any of the big stadiums. So you just have to adjust the gearing of the truck and you adjust your driving style to put on the best show that you can for the area you're in. You know, you you and I were talking uh, off air, and you're doing shows now in Australia. What is there a huge demand for that down there? You, you've been going down there quite a bit, it seems like. I do. I spend half of my life down in Australia. I spend six months of the year down there, not all at one time. I travel back and forth. I got nine trucks down there that I manage and run. And basically, I was the pioneer that went into Australia and got us set up. When we first started going in there, there was three or four trucks. And I think now, with everybody that's involved, there's probably 24 to 25 trucks that are down in there. Now, also, the end of November, first part of December, 
we've sent six of the trucks from Australia over to China, and so I'm going to be making uh, Chinese, uh, China tour as well, and so we'll be headed over there. So I'm definitely a world traveler. I love it. I love it. And here in St. George, the one and only Craig Christensen, uh, get your tickets, teamkcm.com. Stop by the Hurricane Napa store. Or uh, you get them at the gate. It will cost you just a couple dollars extra there at the gate. Fun to talk. Remind me how big those tires on those monster trucks are again. How many? T how big are those? The tires are 66 inches tall and weigh right at 1,000 pounds apiece. All right. What's there's four of them. So if you need a workout, you don't need to go to the gym anymore. You can come out here and start pulling tires on and off. <laughs> yeah, I love it, man. Now, do the sizes vary? Do you Have you raced with different sizes? Or are they all that size across the board? No. Classification for the monster trucks is that they have to be 66 inches tall. And so, you know, you get a variation in tire just like any other tire, but it's still called a 66 inch tire. I get ticked off when I have to go put four tires on my wife's SUV. I can only imagine when you have to go replace four monster truck tires, what that runs you. Oh, yeah, they're not that, they're not really not that bad. They're only like $3,000 a piece. <laughs> <laughs> that's how I explained to my wife. They're only three thousand dollars a piece, honey. They could be. And then, you know, the nice thing is, we take a brand new tire that you bought for three thousand dollars, and then we send it out and have it buffed. We spend eight hundred dollars having half the tread taken back off of it to lighten the tire up. <laughs> yeah, explain that one to her. I love it. Craig Christensen, <laughs> he'll be driving Dragon Slayer uh, pits. The party, 5.30. Gates will open at 5 just before that. Take your kids out there and have a blast at the Washington County Fairgrounds on a Saturday night. Craig, thanks for hopping on the show for us, man. It was fun.